Hello, welcome to Knowledge of Physics. In this video, I will show you finding derivative of exponential root under cos x from first principle. Derivative of exponential root under cos x from first principle or from the definition of derivative. The first principle of derivative can be written as dy by dx or dy divided by dx is equal to limit del x tends to 0 or del x very close to 0 del y divided by del x is equal to limit del x tends to 0 f of x plus del x minus f of x whole divided by del x provided that the limit exists. This means if the given limit, limit del x tends to 0, f of x plus del x minus f of x whole divided by del x does not exist, then you cannot find the derivative of given function. Now here, uh, let's suppose y is equal to f of x is equal to root exponential root under cos x. This is equation 1. And also suppose del x is equal to a small change or a small increment in x and del y is a small change in y value of y due to the change in x that is del x then y plus del y or a small change in value of y is equal to um, exponential root number cos of x plus del x Uh, now subtract equation 1 from 2 you will get y plus del y is equal y plus del y minus y is equal to exponential root under cos of x plus del x minus root under cos x y y cancel out then del y is equal to exponential cos of root under cos of x plus del x minus exponential root under cos x divide both sides by del x then you get del y divided by del x is equal to exponential root under cos of x plus del x minus exponential root of cos x whole divided by del x now applying the first principle that is uh, taking limit as uh, limit del x tends to 0 we get limit del x tends to 0 del y divided by del x is equal to limit del x tends to 0 exponential root under cos of del x x plus del x minus exponential root cos x whole divided by del x now in new page dy by dx is equal to limit del x tends to 0 del y divided by del x is equal to limit del x tends to 0 exponential root under cos of x plus del x minus exponential root under cos x whole divided by del x if you put del x is equal to 0 directly in the limit then you get dy by dx is equal to exponential root under cos of x plus 0 minus root under exponential root under cos x whole divided by 0 that gives you 0 divided by 0 which is indeterminate form in this case you cannot find the derivative of given function so you cannot find derivative directly by using this uh, concept of limit so let's do some modification in the function that is exponential um, root under x cos of x plus del x minus exponential root under cos x so we get uh, now dy by dx is equal to limit del x tends to 0 del y by del x is equal to limit del x tends to 0 exponential root under cos of del x plus x plus del x minus exponential root under cos x whole divided by del x now for the modification we put uh, root under cos of x plus del x is equal to u plus k and uh, u is equal to root under cos x so we get k is equal to 
root under cos of x plus del x minus u and uh, substituting value of u we get k is equal to root under cos of x plus del x minus root under cos x uh, in this situation as del x tends to 0 you can see k tends to k also tends to 0 you can put the value of del x in the value of k now dy by dx is equal to limit k tends to 0 exponential u plus k minus exponential u divided by k into limit del x tends to 0 k divided by del x substituting the value of k in the limit del x tends to 0 we get limit k tends to 0 exponential u taking u common exponential k minus 1 whole divided by k times limit del x tends to 0 uh, root under cos of x plus del x minus root cos of x whole divided by del x since u is not the function of k you can take out uh, exponential u from the limit and we are left with limit k tends to 0 exponential k minus 1 whole divided by k times limit del x tends to 0 uh, root under cos of del x x plus del x minus root cos x all divided by x we multiplied it by root under cos of del x, x plus del x plus root cos x whole divided by um, root under cos of x plus del x plus root under cos x so that we can apply a minus b times a plus b is equal to a square minus b square formula you can see limit k tends to 0 exponential k minus 1 by whole divided by k is the standard formula whose value is 1 so we use 1 and we are left with exponential u times 1 times exponential limit del x tends to 0 cos of del x plus del x minus cos of x whole divided by del x times Mm, root under cos of x plus del x plus root under cos x now we can use uh, the formula cos c minus cos d is equal to 2 times sine of c minus c plus d whole divided by 2 times sine of d minus c divided by 2 for the value of cos of x plus del x minus cos x then we get uh, u exponential u times 1 by root we put a value of uh, del x and uh, further simplification we get 1 by root 2 times root cos x times limit del x tends to 0 2 times sine uh, x plus del x plus x whole divided by 2 times sine x minus x minus del x whole divided by 2 whole divided by del x now we are left with exponential u times 1 by 2 root cos x times limit del x tends to 0 2 times sine of 2x plus del x whole divided by 2 times sine of minus del x by 2 whole divided by del x is equal to u exponential u 1 by 2 root 2 root cos x times uh, taking out the sine 2x plus del x by 2 by substituting del x is equal to 0 out from the limit we get sine 2x plus 0 all divided by 2 times limit del x tends to 0 2 times sine um, of minus del x by 2 whole divided by del x Now limit del x tends to 0 sine of minus del x by 2 by minus del x by 2 is 1. Then we are left with uh, minus u e time e, uh, exponential u whole divided, to, whole divided by 2 root under cos x times sine x multiplied by 1. But u is root under cos x. So using root under cos x we get dy by dx is equal to minus sin x whole divided by 2 root under cos x times 
exponential root under square root under cos x so derivative of exponential root cos x is equal to minus sin x exponential root cos x whole divided by 2 times root cos x thanks for watching do subscribe the channel and stay connected with us thank you so much for watching